Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Deepo Adesina, the CEO and founder of Agro Angels. And today I'm with my very good friend, Olawale, who is the manager of Smile Gary uh, here in a local village in uh, Oro State, Oro, Oro, which is in Clara State. Yeah. So um, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to check out your processing plants and just to give people the idea of you know, how you guys operate and potentially anyone wants to start one what some of the things that they did, uh, they need to look out for. So we're very grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you so much for, for coming. And uh, we're really excited that uh, you decided to visit our factory this time because we know you've been visiting a lot of projects. Sure, sure, thank you. Yeah, so welcome to Smy Gary. Smy Gary is an initiative of Smy uh, Gary Global Foods. So this is just a wing of our, our project, which is the cassava processing okay. project. So here we are now is the peeling arena. So usually when the cassava comes in, it comes in, into the compound and then we have to spread it around the area where the women will peel it. Okay. So we call this place the peeling arena. So from here when they peel the cassava, we have the, the cassava pool. So after peeling the cassava, that's removing the, the, the brownish part of the cassava okay. skin. So we put it in the in the cassava pool. So this is the cassava pool. And then in the pool, once the feeding starts and then you start dropping the cassava in here, we're hoping to tap to raise the cassava. So the tap continues to run and once it raises, the two men will be happy. Did you, did you turn around and fill the, uh, the cassava to the capacity? Yeah, we'll fill it to the capacity, but the moment we start dropping the cassava in there, we have to open the tap. Okay. Even before, the, before it fill, gets filled to, to capacity. Okay. So now, when the cassava gets in here, we rinse it and then we'll wash. And then as we wash, we'll bring it down here, which is the uh, crushing section. Okay. So some people call this machine greater, some people call it crusher. So, but the, what it does is to 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 mash the cassava tuber. Okay. And it has capacity to do six tons in every thirty minutes. Six tons in every thirty minutes. So, in a day, we take about uh, four to five trucks of cassava, which is about, about twenty tons. Okay. So, this machine approximately do that in uh, two hours and mm. about. So. It's a very powerful machine and very fast one. So this is the fermentation section. The purpose of the fermentation, we all know cassava has signed it and then that's the poisonous part of it. It okay. has to go over a period of time before you continue your processing. So we we'll bring it here to ferment. Uh, it spends minimum of three days here. Sometimes we leave it for four days. But most times because we have so much uh, uh, crushed cassava in the fermentation section, some of them could stay as long as two weeks in the mm -hmm. So. But the good thing is, uh, we have good hygiene here. Okay. Every morning, we have one of our staff who washes, you know, clean the okay, environment, so, so it doesn't grow uh, maggot and all that. So it stays fresh. Good. And then from this place, we'll bring it down to the pressing, pressing section. So this is perhaps the most powerful machine here. So this machine has uh, a ring, as you can see. So you can take up to 22 bags of cassava per time. Mm. So. Uh, and then it presses in about 30 minutes there about. So uh, you blow that you put in your cassava and then you press it. So what you want to achieve in the pressing is to dewater the cassava. Every okay. water in the cassava has to come down. Gotcha. It has to come down. So that's what we do here in 30 minutes and then it forms the cassava into a cake. The crushed cassava into cake. So after four minutes we take it back to the crushing machine. So which will bring the cake back to powder. Mm. So and from there it goes to the frying section. So this is what converts it to what we do as Gary, okay. Gary Fishing. Okay. Yeah, so this is an automated uh, Gary machine. Uh, we've not been using it because it is expensive to run. Because it relies basically on electricity before you can yeah. run it. So uh, anyone who is setting up this kind of project, uh, we would advise that they go for the manual Fryers. You need electricity to run this. We are in a village where electricity is not stable. And then if we have to use generator to run this uh, 24 7 very cost, it will be very expensive. So we resolve to remove the blade and use it manually. So okay. and it's been working since then. That's good. So you fry the gari here. Uh, the, the heat is generated from behind. So after frying your gari, you, remove, you open up the tunnel. Okay. And then you bring down the gari. Do you scrape, you scrape it out? Yeah, you okay. just scrape it out. Gotcha. Yeah, so uh, usually we use, uh, uh, for this we use 
chug up to try to guy. Okay, it's very hot. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, we're, we're removing the guy out the frying. So this is officially the, the finished. Uh, yeah, this is where we finished did. process. Yeah, this is where we did my bite for what we did. So uh, we're going to then from stage to stage. project uh, beyond the uh, making money we are adding value which is the core of the project we are we are employing people in the community and also we are feeding them in the so it's it's, uh, it's a project with high impact that's we've had uh, many people visited us here to, to, to commend us on what we're doing that's good and the community leaders have also come and even the ones that are outside this community they have come to see to see what we're doing and learn from what we're doing can you tell people how old you are and because uh, <laughs> I think it'll be shocking for people to know that you know young people can run an operation like this without um, being in their 40s or 50s or 60s before they get started. Well, I, I think uh, it's a very, very important issue you raised. Um, uh, agribusiness is is basically for young people, it's not for old people. Like uh, 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 we we look at it to be in Nigeria today. Uh, I'm just 28 and then uh, I'm doing it with the whole of my uh, energy, with the whole of my passion and I don't do anything else. This is what I do for a living. I uh, have various projects in, in the agro sector and I, I encourage young people to get involved in this. Agro business is for young people because you have the energy, you have the passion, you have the ingenuity to run it. We really need to do uh, get young people involved in agri value chain we need to get involved in planting we need to get involved in processing processing in particular because uh we stay in the part of the world where post harvest loss is very critical uh most of the tubers harvested the waste uh, vegetables harvested the waste because there's no processing initiative so but processing initiatives like hers and others that you anyone can start we reduce this kind of post harvest loss and also ensure food security and reduce hunger in Nigeria and Africa at large. Wow, well, thank you so much for sharing such a uh, vast knowledge on the Gary processing and also just letting people know that it's a beneficial project for young people. And our hope is that you're watching this, that you start to see agriculture as uh, not only the future of Africa, but as an opportunity for you to dive in and create wealth for yourself as well as empower other people. So with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and we'll catch you next time. Peace.